Jen Chan with Community Real Estate Group, a part of Christmas with Realty, and I'm here with Jody Cowley. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> so ja Jody, I helped Jody buy this house last year, and she's also a friend and uh, a wonderful stager and a restyler. And she wants to show us a little bit of what she's done to update the kitchen. So yeah, I wanted to share basically what I did here was um, pretty cost effective, which I think will um, engage. Uh, of your newer clients that they, get, they can't see past what's already here which this was a much darker kitchen and had black countertops and brown um, cabinetry um, there was no backsplash either so that was added and changed and we actually just by adding um, a three drawer versus the single side door with very little storage mm -hmm. it kind of um, elongated the island and made a much bigger space. So you put the extension in? Yep. Kind of looks it was just a, yep, an extra raw cabinet that we just bought right from the manufacturer. And um, the we had the cabinets painted, actually, by a local painter. They did so you didn't even have to take the old cabinets down. You just repainted it? They were just repainted. Yep. You can't even tell. It looks like brand new. And the, um, the new poles and hardware are actually from Target, very cost effective. A lot of people don't know as well, you don't need to go to a kitchen um, store necessarily to purchase um, hardware that you can find some on um, Lowe's, Home Depot, Etsy, many, many places, Target, lots of really great res Amazon resources where you can find inexpensive things. Um, new light fixtures. Uh, West Elm. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> so basically, you didn't have to do like this, you know, overhaul kitchen renovation. It was just a facelift. It was a facelift. The most, uh, I would say, the, the biggest investment, honestly, were the counters. Mm -hmm. um, this and is again, quartz, right? this is quartz, it's um, but it's not the highest grade. There, there is even two grades higher than this. It could have been a lot more expensive, or it could have been um, a lot less expensive, mm -hmm. depending on what uh, grade you choose. Mm -hmm. So. Would I have wanted more? Well, yes. <laughs> this is a, a you know a, a nice substitute. I mean, I think everybody's so used to granite, and quartz is kind of like the newer thing that's coming out. Mm -hmm. So I don't even think people at this point really know you know grade two quartz versus grade three quartz versus grade one quartz. It's quartz, and it's beautiful, and you did a great job. So. Yeah. There's actually different um, variations in uh, price points of granite as well, and mm -hmm. and pretty much every stone. So that's good to know that. Sometimes you have to um, make a compromise, maybe don't get exactly what you want, but it's still going to be an enormous improvement, mm -hmm. and that's what um, you, know, you want yeah. to try to direct your or guide your clients, that they know that there, right. there is hope. It's just yeah. because it's not exactly how you want it when you move in, there are cost-effective ways to facelift rather than renovate. Right, and I mean, basically from what it was before to now, I mean, I wouldn't even think it was the same house, basically, so... All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and got some good tips from Jody. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks.